Hey everybody, welcome back to It's Only Food with Chef John Polite. Today, we are making Asian lettuce wraps. You're not going to want to miss this one. Well, hey, and welcome back to It's Only Food, and thanks so much for watching. I am Chef John Polite. And if this is your first time watching this channel, or you just want to learn how to make awesome, awesome food, or maybe even learn how to start your own cooking channel right here on YouTube, then start right now by clicking on that subscribe button and then hitting that notification bell to be notified each and every time I upload new content. All right, will you click down this video to watch me show you how to make Asian lettuce wraps? So let's head into the kitchen and check out what our ingredients are. We've got one pound of ground beef, red, yellow, orange, peppers, rice, rice vinegar, soy sauce, sesame oil, fresh ginger, garlic, and onion, and of course, some bib lettuce that we're gonna wrap all these up in. All right, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna brown our meat and get that all drained off. I want to take all these vegetables that I've got here. I've got the red pepper, yellow pepper, orange pepper, onion, garlic, and ginger. What I'm going to do is I'm going to dice the onion and the peppers, and then I'm going to just crush up and mince the fresh garlic, and I'm going to peel and chop some of the lovely ginger, and we're going to add it to that ground beef and let those flavors marry together with that ground beef before we add our soy sauce, rice vinegar, and sesame oil. Here we see we've got the peppers all cut, diced up, our onions, some of that garlic, and that fresh ginger. They're all ready to go. We're just going to take them and at the same time we're just going to put it all right in. All right we see the ground beef is cooking along with all the aromatics we just added into this. So I'm going to go ahead and put our soy sauce in. We're going to go about two tablespoons of soy sauce, about a tablespoon of rice wine vinegar, about two teaspoons, about two teaspoons of some sesame oil. Now I'm going to stir this up as well. Put the lid on. And let that cook as well too. All right, I want this to thicken a little bit, so I'm going to add some cornstarch and water to this. Just enough to get this to kind of thicken so it stays together because we don't want it falling all over the place or being too runny when we put it into the lettuce cups. So I'm going to let this come together as a broth. So I'm going to continue cooking it with the lid on and then we'll see where it's at from there. All right, I'm just going to give this a quick taste just to see how it tastes. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit more soy sauce in there. All right, so this is done. I'm just going to put the lid on it, keep it warm. Right here, I don't want to take the lid off, but that's some brown rice going right there. So when the rice is done, we will plate it up into the leaf lettuce on a bed of rice. We will take a ton of pictures of it for social media. We are going to find some music to accompany those awesome pictures on our timeline for this video. And then we're going to come back and we're going to see what it tastes like. Tons of flavor and aroma coming off of this. I'm going to pick one of these up and try it out. If that's up close. You can just smell all that soy sauce and that garlic. So let me throw this camera on the tripod and we will give this a bite. Alright, 
There is the lettuce wrap. So far, so good. The meat is holding in there. Not a whole lot of liquid because we tightened it up with some of that cornstarch. But uh, I'm going to give this a bite. Wow. There's a whole lot going on in that bite. You got the ground beef with that soy sauce, the uh, ginger in there. Every time you take a bite, it's an explosion of flavor with the peppers, the onions, the ginger, the garlic. And you got that soy sauce giving it that savory umami flavor in there. And then you can taste that sesame oil as well. Uh, tied in with a little bit of that vinegar that gives it a little bit of bitterness. It kind of makes it sweet and sour. So, great dish. Very light, easy to make meal for a summer night. Go ahead and give it a try. All right, thanks so much for watching. Do not forget to hit that description box below for the five links that I have down there for you. The first one is a link to all my e-commerce stores that I have my gourmet seasonings on. The second one is a link to a playlist that I have made of how to make a YouTube cooking channel. The third link is for TubeBuddy, which is a toolkit that you will need in order to make your YouTube cooking channel a success. Four is a link to my Amazon storefront. Everything I use on this channel is in a storefront there. Click on that link, you'll see everything I use. It is an affiliate link, so I do make a little bit of money on each purchase that is made. And five is all my social media links that I have. Don't forget that I have a chef page on Facebook that is also an aggregate site for other creators on YouTube that I like to feature on there. So click on that chef page one and give it a like as well. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Make sure to like this video and this channel. Leave all your comments right down below. And then do me a favor and share this video and this channel with everybody, everybody you know. Thanks a lot for watching. We will see you again right here on It's Only Food with Chef John Polite. Bye-bye.